Here is how to set up a newsletter with Squarespace. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your newsletter using Squarespace. So let's actually get to the video and not waste much time. So once you visit your Squarespace and log in, uh, we can just go ahead and click on get started for now. And we will go ahead and actually just, you know, find a template and then I will get back to you. Okay, so once you log into your Squarespace and you have your website and everything, we will start with the first step, which is going to be basically um, having something in our website that allows people to actually subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, this way we will have their information uh, and also be able to send them the newsletters through it. So we will need to go ahead to our website, find a page that is suitable, it could be the home page or it could be any other page. Uh, it just depends on what you where you want it to be. Uh, so for my uh, or for this video, I'll just use the home page uh, as an example. And we just can go ahead and click on edit so we can edit our website. Now, find a section where you want to add it to. Uh, a lot of people use like usually add it to the footer, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to scroll down to the footer. Uh, and I will just click on edit site footer. And by the way, uh, if you want to add it to any other section, it's also possible. So it's not uh, exclusively for the footer. So uh, I will just click on edit fo uh, site footer. And then we will add a block. Or actually, let me just remove this. And let me just add it in here instead of the contact us. Uh, so let me just go ahead and add the block. And then from here, we have uh, a bunch of um, items here that we can choose from as blocks, and we can add uh, plenty of things here. But what I would, uh, or what we want is going to be this newsletter basic uh, block that we can just choose. So we just click on this newsletter block, and then it's going to appear here for us. So we can just line it up wherever we want it to be. We can make it bigger or smaller dependent, depends on how we want it to be exactly. So we customize it to our liking and we just place it over here. So now that we have this block, and again, I say that you can add it to any other section, it doesn't necessarily have to be the footer. Uh, but anyways, so we have it now, what we can do is edit the text and some things or some elements within this block. So to do so, we just click on it and then we click on this pencil icon and then we can edit a few things. So the form name, we can just change this to whatever makes sense to us. So we can just say uh, newsletter sub or discount. And then we change the title, which is going to be this one that yeah, you can see uh, within the block. So we can just do um, get your um, discount here. So basically you just type in whatever you want. So whether it's a discount that they will be getting, it's a PDF they will be getting, whatever it may be, you can just put it over here. So we can just do that. Uh, and then we can also edit the description. So we can just go to description and just edit things out here. So sign up with your email address to receive news and updates. We change that to become to receive your uh, free discount. Okay, so it's a little laggy discount. Okay. And you can make a bold italics and so on. And then we can also add a disclaimer here at the bottom, you can see we respect your privacy. Uh, and we can also adjust the button text. So we can just um, uh, type and get it now, not now, now, there you go. Okay. There you go. Uh, and then we can also require name field. If you want to add that, you can do so, but, uh, like, let's just keep it at email address and that's it. So for the design aspect, you can also change the design of it. So whether it's going to be stacking or floating and alignment and so on. Uh, and then storage here is going to be something that is very important, but we will get back to it uh, in a sec because right now we didn't edit things for it yet. So uh, for now, we finished the design aspect and we finished 
uh, the block, but it doesn't lead anywhere, this button, because we didn't edit any newsletter to subscribe to, which is what we will be doing right now, which is a mailing list. So next up, we just go ahead and click on save and we go ahead and exit. Now we will need to create a mailing list to uh, link to this basically. So people that subscribe to this, enter their email in here, they will be able to uh, uh, join that mailing list. So to do so is very simple. We just go to marketing on the uh, Squarespace dashboard and we go to email campaigns. And here we should find uh, all things related to email campaigns, but we will skip all of this uh, for later uh, and we will do or create a mailing list. So we just click on mailing lists and we click on add on top. So here we are going to give it a name. So let me just name it the, the what they will be getting from that one. Now you can create multiple ones and you can create multiple forms. Uh, that are going to connect with different mailing lists. So this form that we have just created or the block is going to be for this mailing list and we can create another form for another mailing list. So uh, yeah, you get the idea now. So let's just name it discount newsletter and click on save. And we should be done. We can just go back and it should be in here. Okay, so yeah, discount newsletter is in there. So let's go back to our website and we go back to edit and then we go scroll down. Let me just clear things off here a little bit just to make things easier to uh, get down here as quick as possible. Anyways, so we just click on edit site footer or wherever you added to this block. So we just click on it and then we click on the pencil again. And this time, instead of design and content, we go to storage. Uh, and in here, we will be able to link it to our um, a mailing list. So we just go ahead and click on Squarespace, confirmation email off, whatever it says there. And then we just go ahead and add to mailing list. So we just click on it and select the mailing list that we have just connected. So after we connect it, we can go back and we can save and exit. And now we have the subscription done. Now the next step is just going to be going to marketing and go to email campaigns and just start creating your email campaigns uh, and sending them to people. Now what you can do also, which is uh, what I suggest that you do uh, immediately after we obviously add sender details from there, you obviously need to add your name and email and confirm it. Afterwards, you will go to automations and create your um, automation emails for people that just subscribe. So we just click on automations to do so. We just click on automations and then we click on add. So after we click on add, we should just go ahead and uh, select the automation that we want. Usually it's going to be start with welcome email. So once we select this, we will be able to select a template and work with it. So we can just go ahead and select any template here and just um, once we're happy with it, we can just click on use this template and we will be able to edit everything within it. So uh, for the style first, we can adjust the colors, font pack, font sizes, link color. Uh, for the email, we can change uh, some things. Um, mainly is going to be the automation settings. So if we just click on email and then click, click on automation settings, we will select signs up for your site. Uh, we want for all subscribers or select a mailing list, which I recommend. And we just go ahead and select the mailing list that we have just created. So when somebody subscribes to select uh, or, or when somebody subscribes to, to, to discount newsletter, uh, this is going to be sent to them. So that's pretty much how it's going to work. So after we're done with the styles, we can just go ahead and select the text that we want to change and actually just go ahead and change it. Same goes for the images. So we just click on replace and we can just replace it. Uh, and all the text in here, make sure that it uh, suits your brand style and everything. 
And once that's done, you're pretty much done and you can just start sending emails to your subscribers. So I hope this helped you out in getting started with your newsletter with Squarespace. So I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.